Okay, hello YouTube. So today we are going to be talking about the new weapons that were shown off and explain why the title is as it is. Mihoyo is finally listening to us because with this blog post, they are listening. It is proof that they have been paying attention to us. So for any of you guys who are not following their official social media, Twitter, on their Discord account, their YouTube, whatever, I can be your new source. I will be your source of information. Feel free to like the video if you do end up finding it informative or enjoyable. And consider subscribing if you want to catch more uploads like this as well. And join us over on Twitch. I'm live currently as we are reviewing this. We're live every single day if you guys do need a place to hang out while you are farming your commissions. Uh, daily artifacts, anything, and you are feeling bored, I'm live every single day, 9 a.m. EST. Come join us over on Twitch. With that being said, let's hop into the weapon showcase, yeah? So we have the two new weapons. Er, unfortunately, it's only two weapons. I'm pretty sure they showed off more weapons during the live stream, if I can recall correctly. But right here, we have the bow. Polar Star Bow. It's crit. Which is amazing, 33.1%. This is all at level 90, refinement rank 1. Base attack is 608. And then we have the attribute. Elemental skill, elemental burst damage is increased by 12%. Flat out. Insane. And then, after a normal attack, charge attack, elemental skill, or burst damage hits an opponent, one stack of Ashen Night Star will be gained for 12 seconds. When 1, 3, one, two, three, or four stacks of Ashen Nightmare are present. Attack is increased by 10, 20, 30, or 48%. The stack of Ashen Nightstar created by the normal attack, charge attack, elemental skill, or burst damage will be counted independently of others. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm assuming a lot of people are saying that this is a uh, this is a bow for Tartaglia, for the most part, right? What other bow? What other character could this be used on then? Besides Tartaglia, what other bow could this be used on then? Because I could see this being used on, like, Fischl. Yeah. I could see this being really good on Fischl. Yeah, it says after a normal attack, charge attack, or elemental skill burst hits an opponent, one stack of Ashen will be gained for 12 seconds. It says that the stacks created by them are counted independently. It'd be it'd be a really good Fischl bow. Yoi Mia? Yeah, I can see Yoi Mia. This, this is overall just amazing for like a lot of characters because of the versatility of it. Normal charge, skill, or burst damage. And it has crit as the secondary stat. Overall, this is generally good for every bow character out there. Unless you're trying to run a bow character with just um like energy recharge, and that's what you want. But for the most part, most of the bow characters out there, this is good for them. So that is kind of good to see. I'm still going to be skipping it, unfortunately. I'm not rolling on weapon banners, so that's out the window. But, hey, best of luck for anyone who's going to be rolling for it. And this is the main difference that I saw with the changes that MiHoYo posted. It tells you the ascension materials that you need to farm for this weapon ahead of time. I don't know when 2.2 is off the top of my head. I'll be completely honest. It is October 9th, and I don't know when it's dropping. But I think this is like four or five days in advance, give or take or something, right? They tell us what we need. And this is right before a Sunday too when all the domains are open. So that's pretty good. They're telling us what we need to farm. The new claw from the enemy. Spectral, whatever. I, I forgot what the correct name is. And then the mask that you can get from the domains. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. MiHoYo has listened to us when we have told them countless times please mihoyo mihoyo tell us what we need to farm for these materials so we don't have to rely on like leaks and stuff like that etc and they finally included it thank god we'll have to hope that they continue to do this for characters too and then eventually give us a roadmap in the future that's what we're hoping on okay so let's see if they do the same for characters and let's see if they continue this up but so far, this is definitely a good sign. It shows that they are, at the very least, paying attention, listening to us, and finally giving us the information that we, we are requesting. So this is a small step, but a step nonetheless towards progression. All right? We got it. We got it. We got to say that. Anywho, moving on, we have the new Claymore that's being showed off. It has attack percent, 41.3%. Uh, base attack 510 and then the attribute says for every point of the entire party's combined maximum energy capacity what the elemental burst damage of the character equipping this weapon is increased by 0.2 percent 12 percent 
A maximum of 40% increased elemental burst damage can be achieved this way. Wait a minute, is this good for like Eula? Would you put this on elemental burst damage is increased? I could see this being good for like Eula, right? And then you combo that with like, uh, um, A, like a bow, right? I'm thinking that. <clears throat> is that, is that, is that not the play right there? Everyone in chat saying Beto. Beto right now. Put this on Beto. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to ever get this weapon to try it out myself on characters and do damage testing. All I can think about is... All I can think about is um, ideas in my head. Because you can only get this weapon via the new weapon banner. And I have not rolled on the weapon banner at all. So I'll be looking at videos and seeing... Um, I'll be looking at videos and seeing how great it is. This is only at refinement rank 1, by the way. So a maximum of 40% increase on the, the elemental burst damage. It's only rank 1. Imagine. Right? Here are the materials that you guys need. Coral, branch of a distant sea, concealed claw, and then old handguard. The names are up here as well. So they told us what we need for these as well. Now, unfortunately, that was it. There are other types of weapons that are supposed to be showed off, and I'm assuming that Mihoyo will be talking about them uh, in tonight's upload. I'm pretty sure tonight they'll be posting the spear and then whatever other weapon it was. I think it was the bow. The spear. It was another bow, right? It was a four-star bow that I'm that I'm thinking of. I'm pretty sure they'll just post it tonight. It's kind of weird that they didn't post it all in the same post. They're trying to spread out the content right here, but there is that. That's that's that right there. You think this weapon would be good for Xin Yan? I'm really thinking this weapon would be good for Eula. And then if you have, like, a bow in your team comp, that'd be kind of sick, right? Right? Would that, would that not be sick or no? Am I, am I a Papega right now? Anyways, <clears throat> that was it. Xin Yan, <laughs> Xin Yan who? I'm not leaking. All right, that was it. Quick little update video of the new weapons coming soon to Genshin Impact. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys are going to be wishing on the new weapon banners yourself. Best of luck if you guys do decide to wish for these new weapons. Uh, hopefully Mihoyo with this big detail. Like Some people might look at this and be like, that's a small thing. This is a big step in progression in terms of Mihoyo uh, listening to the community and giving us what we want. All right. Next step is they start, start talking about characters. Their, their farm materials, uh, multiple days, hopefully a week in advance. They talk about a roadmap for characters coming out. Hell, they even give us like replayable end game content, you know, in game, in, in game daily login, uh, multiple things that we, we've been asking for since a year ago, you know, a year ago. So this is definitely a good sign. Makes me look for, it makes me look makes me look forward to the future now for, for Genshin Impact that they are listening. So hopefully they can keep this up and, um, yeah, keep listening to us, right? Because <laughs> I feel like half the time we do those surveys, they just shred our, our answers. They're like, all right, thank you for the Thank you for your survey. Shred. And they don't care about what we have to say at all. But thank God something is getting through to them. So... If you guys did find this video helpful or informative, do give it a thumbs up. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing if you want to catch more uploads like this. Don't miss any news information, anything like that. Patch notes for 2.2 should be dropping soon, so we'll be covering that as well. And join us over on Twitch. We're live every day, 9 a.m. EST. I'd love to have you guys here. With that being said, I will catch you guys in the next one.